Today is the day we all have been waiting for. What's up everyone, Zeno here. And for those of you who haven't heard, today, July 1st, is a big day for the Street Fighter community. Big changes are coming for fans like I, such as one of the largest DLC will be available for Street Fighter V. Capcom is blessing us with Abuki, who no longer has infinite kunai, instead having to reload them after several uses. However, she has newer options with the kunai to throw them at different angles and patterns. She is no longer a fast vortex character, but plays mostly as a 50-50 character at a slow pace. And Boro, who still have his straight dash punches and armor moves, being able to close the gap between his opponent with his V skill called KKB, allowing him to dodge projectiles as shown in the trailer. He's more of a boxer now, which is amazing, but that means we could rule Dougley out of making an appearance in Street Fighter V. There will be a new story mode that bridges the gap between Street Fighter 3 and Street Fighter 4. This is the first time ever that fans will be able to play through this type of cinematic experience in the Street Fighter game. New stages such as Las Vegas stage, Balrog fought on in the Street Fighter 2 series. Karen Beach, yes, she has her own beach stage, she's that damn rich. And on the beach, we have two guest characters, Tiffany and Hanada from Project Justice or Rival Schools. How you doing, Tiffany? Call me. <laughs> it will be amazing to see characters from Project Justice make an appearance like a little crossover into Street Fighter V. The game had great potential, but sort of faded out, in my opinion, because you don't really see much or hear much about Capcom talking about making you know, a reappearance of or remastering Project Justice, which they should. Cause it's an amazing game. Capcom has also announced new summer costumes, also including story mode costumes, will be on the rise and purchasable soon without the player having to actually play the individual story mode to unlock them. Can we take a second to just thank Capcom for these summer costumes? Mm. So gorgeous. Just look at them. Thank you, Capcom. The biggest news, what we all are waiting to hear, Jury and Urine will be playable characters, yes I said it, playable characters in the new story mode. There is no exact date of when they will be released, but fans have a chance of testing out Jury and Yurin still in their early stages as they play through the new story mode. Now, this is something I can't wait for. I'll be losing on purpose just to have more time to play with these characters to test how much they change from their previous games. We all know Jury is a fun and lovable character, but the character I'm mostly excited for is Yurin who seems to look remotely close to his previous design to any other new character in the franchise. We also see that he may still have his man thong as a playable costume. Hopefully since now he's wearing his business slash pimp suit that when activating his V trigger he burst out of his suit and being in his man thong as he did a third strike. If you pick Yuri in the opening credits he'll like you know burst out his suit being his man thong. It would be cool to have another character to have a full body change like the Cali when activated the V trigger instead of just having a simple glow around the hands and feet cause you know when Ryu goes into his Jin, as I say Din Jin, you know that electricity around his hand, Ken goes into his, he has fire by his feet, Chung Lee goes to her, she has like you know water around her hands or whatever you want to call it. It will be cool to have you know like urine transform, like Nikali transform and how he glows and like his hair changes, goes to Super Saiyan. It would be cool to have another character to do something similar or close to that. This is a massive update with four new playable characters, new stages, and a new story mode. And I'm super excited. And I can't wait to get my hands on and play this thing, especially the story mode, and especially play with urine and jury, but urine mostly. I can't wait. This is going to be a lot. This is going to be amazing. Thank you, Capcom, for doing something so special. Even though it took a while, you know, for updates. <clears throat> but anywho... Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now I'll be back with more future updates for Street Fighter V. Remember to always knuckle up. Zeno out.